Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts. I'm Anna Vanilla and for today I have prepared for you a new stitch from my collection of stitches and as you can see this is the pattern. It's very very simple to do. Every very simple to knit it's fast it's quick it's it's just fantastic and um, this is the front side and this is the wrong side and is only two rows to achieve this pattern you do two rows which i'll show you and as you can see it's like it's got this kind of lines hugging the, the, the V here it's like a V stitch and um, I absolutely love this stitch it goes very quick as you need uh, I've got 20 stitches um, needles size 6 acrylic yarn as you can see this stitch is a bit stretchy so you could do jumpers with it you can do hats i've seen hats made with this and it was fantastic i think it's absolutely stunning it's it could be slightly considered as open work but i think it's a little bit airy but not too much of open work here but it's very simple and easy to do, to make if you can do front stitches knit stitches and pearl stitches you could do this pattern easily so the first loop we do not need and the last loop we always need it with a pearl stitch at the end of any row you need it with a pearl stitch so before we start this uh, stitch I would advise you to cast on the way you usually do the way you like it and then two rows for you to knit it with knit stitches so on the front and on the wrong side to knit each row with front stitches with knit stitches and only then on the third row and so on you start off doing this pattern this way it will keep the shape the edge from being crooked so it will keep in shape and will not going to curve it would have some sort of uh, evenness to it so let's begin so the first loop we do not need it, we just transfer it onto the right needle like so now it's important in this first row because this um, example, this uh, stitch has two rows as I mentioned you use this yarn to the front of the first row all the time it's like you are knitting pearl stitches over time basically so first stitch we need pearl stitch then yarn in front over left needle and we grab the front stitch here like so from From the right we grab the yarn and we wear it on a needle then we knit a pearl stitch and we grab this front stitch we do not knit it but the yarn needs to be over the top that's why I said that you need to uh, pretend you are knitting the first row all the time with pearl stitches so pearl stitch 
front stitch but this front stitch we just take it onto the right needle behind and the yarn needs to be over time on the front of this stitch because it creates this kind of dash this kind of effect this um, structure so purl stitch and we still keep the yarn in front we take this front stitch we wear it on the right needle purl stitch front stitch purl stitch front stitch and we grab it like this from behind we grab this wall this um, stitch from the right like so and then we knit with a purl stitch now the second row is even more simple than this um, on the second row what we do is we knit like we are doing an elastic band a rubber band in knitting so first one is the purl stitch second is a front stitch purl stitch front stitch purl stitch front stitch purl stitch front stitch and that's how we knit until the end of this row and then we repeat again the first row where we do not need the front stitch we just pass it on to the right needle so we finish a second row now it's the first row again so one purl stitch and we keep the yarn in front of us so we grab with the right needle like this this loop like so and we keep this thread on the top in front of this loop and that's how it creates this kind of um, effect of this um, stitch so I I wanted to, to knit the jumper with this stitch and I did not finish it yet but I think it's fantastic yeah um, it did look quite nice I didn't finish but you can try to make garments with this pattern it will look very nice very gentle very airy very elastic uh, even a bit as you can see it's a bit elasticated like so um, and that's how you repeat the first row and the second row it's very simple nothing complicated thank you very much for watching and subscribing and see you next time in my next videos please like my videos so that they are watched by other beginners so thank you very much for watching and subscribing love you all bye